Guess which hip hop couple is now calling it quits after six years of marriage? And guess who's having a high school musical reunion? Cue the intro. girls again i'm daddy the doll and i am sophie joe and, and you, you are, are watching sister sound yeah. <laughs> uh, guys this is a show where our voices can be heard and celebrated we've got everything you need from hot juicy topics to deep discussions and they're all from two sisters point of view okay so we've got a good one for you guys today guys but of course let's get into our segment of sister celebrity scoop we, we got, got the latest, latest news and the gossip for you. Bow, Ooh. bow. So, guys, in today's scoop, of course, I'm sure you guys have heard about the rumors of Cardi B and Offset break up yet again. Yeah, guys, second time, but this time it might be permanent. I know, right? So, the guy, the two of them, if I've had, 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 the two of them have been married for six years and they share two beautiful kids together. And Cardi B recently took to her social media to say, guys, I've been single for a minute now. Yeah. Um, in so many words, I think what she was trying to say was basically they've gone apart. She's kind of ready to, I guess, move on and I guess see what's out there. We're not sure. Now, of course, they never said in detail why the split up happened. Right. Of course, I'm sure a lot of us are probably thinking it was some infidelity going on because that's mm -hmm. what happened the first time they broke up. But hopefully that's not the case. <laughs> right. So, yeah. I mean, it's sad, but at the same time, you know, sometimes you have to do what's best for you, what's best for the kids. So, yeah. Hopefully, if it does end in divorce, it won't be messy, among other divorces that's going on right now. Hint, Jeannie, mine. Jeezy. Jeezy, but... Now, <laughs> like they all said, you know, I ain't trying to bring no negativity to someone's marriage or whatever, but we know in the past, Offset has had, you know, a couple issues with other women. You know, when you're young and you're famous and you're rich, some, not all, they say my be, I'm just saying, some will say it's tough to be faithful in a marriage when you have access to almost anybody you want. So, right. I don't know, but speaking of Cardi B's op, the queen, Nicki Minaj, recently dropped her Pink Friday 2 album over the weekend. Yes. Um, it, highly anticipated album. Yeah, it um dropped Friday, of course, and it's gotten some great reviews so far. I mean, of course, we all worship the first pink friday so of course mm. this one was very anti uh, anticipated and you know nikki coming with her signature sound and and style and if you guys have already heard some of the songs or you already got the album downloaded let us know in the comments you yes. know let us know which song you have on repeat right now or what FTCU you think about you been hitting the streets heavy oh, you yes. feel me you know what i'm saying so not only did the album drop over the weekend but uh it's been you know, the album broke a record for the biggest debut for a female hip hop album in streamer history with Spotify. So, hey, I mean, you know, Nicki is very, we all know Nicki is, uh, you know, heavy on numbers and streaming and records and all that good stuff. So, hey, if it pleases her, then shout out to the Barbs. Yes, and congratulations, Nicki, on your new album. And of course, Miss Sierra is our next topic. Another black woman that's out here just winning every day. Okay. In love. Yes. So, since we've already talked about Cardi and Offset, let's get to a more happier couple doing better things, better things. Yes. Um, it is Sierra and Russell with their new bundle of joy. Yes. Sierra um, gave birth to her new baby girl named Amora. Beautiful name. I think yes. Amora means love. Well, love. Amora love. is love. So, Amora, yeah, that's right very pretty um this is, this is sierra's fourth child mm -hmm. um some people would say future is somewhere punching the air right now but <laughs> they all think future probably don't even care you know i so. mean i think he cares to an extent of course like all men do but i think he's not at that point yet where he's 
you know, sitting somewhere and probably thinking about all of his wrong life decisions. Right. <laughs> I mean, Sierra has really blossomed in this relationship with Russell Wilson. Yeah. I mean, she's always been a beautiful lady, but when you are having children, I'm assuming with the, you know, the love of your life, you can just see she's always looking happy, glowing, and yes, like putting on you know great shows as i say happy weight you know when you you're eating good because you're happy <laughs> but yeah so congrats to them on their beautiful child i know russell is gonna be a great father as he already is that is no shades or baby daddy i'm just saying so guys moving on in even more relationship news um taylor swift and her nfl boyfriend travis kelly have been continuing to make headlines if they've uh, always continue to be spotted out with paparazzi on more dates. Me personally, I don't really understand why this relationship is making such headlines and news. I don't get it, but maybe it's because he's a famous football player who used to only date black women and now he's dating Taylor Swift, which some of her exes haven't been the most finest of men. So this is a big switcheroo, but I don't know what's up with that. But also Taylor has been in the news because of... Um, an interview that she recently did yes with Kim and not with Kim but about Kim and Kanye as we know them back in the day Kim Ye when they were married she did a interview recently with a magazine pretty much saying that it was Kanye's and Kim fault for the whole 2016 incident that happened where he ran up on stage drunk and shit talking about she didn't deserve the award and all this of Which course if you guys check out our last episode, you can see that we talked about pop culture's biggest moments, and that was our biggest moment. So, exactly. if you want to click on that and see, and then jump back to this one, you'll see what we're talking about. So, basically, she blames him for that incident, basically saying that they were the reason for her career downfall. Right. She called it career death. Right. Um, hella dramatic, but child. Me, personally... Uh, don't think it was that serious and I'm not saying that she's wrong for how she felt maybe at that time I don't know maybe she was saying her songs were stalling on the radio or I don't know what she meant by downfall because of course as from us on the outside looking in including you guys Taylor Swift is like the white Beyonce at this point the she girl is. is a damn billionaire she's right. like she's pop royalty she's, her, she just, we just said in that episode she just broke the record for 1 billion yeah streams. and she made over something to maybe 1.3 billion off her tour and her movie premiere mm. the highest uh, yeah the girl is a young Madonna like she's just out here so if that if she did feel like that's what happened back then when that in 2016 and her career stalled girl you made up for it like forget that right. that <laughs> like you're it that's now you know, you know and, and of course we don't know maybe the interviewer asked her but if, if it wasn't provoked i don't know why she would bring it up now well i'm gonna leave that alone but hey shout out to taylor swift and her money and her beautiful career and her loyal fan base shout out to kim shout out to Ye. Hey, shout out to everybody who's billionaires while we're over here just <laughs> hoping to reach there one day. <laughs> right, girl, we got we're out here with real problems. So, okay. appreciate it, and I mean, hey. That's right, guys. Our last scoop of Sister Celebrity Scoop. This one really warmed me and Danielle's heart because we were high school musical fans. We're all in this together, and we don't da da yeah, guys, so <laughs> it really touched our hearts to know that Vanessa Hudgens recently tied the knot to her baseball beau, Cole Tucker, in Tulum, Mexico. And um, she, of course, invited some of her High School Musical castmates. And Danielle has a little bit of information about Cole Tucker. I never knew who he was. Yes, guys, so a little tea on her new hubby. First off, he's cute, so... Give him a plus on that. In 2014, he got drafted in the Major League Baseball. Before that, you know, he was in high school playing baseball, but, you know, just minor. In 2022, which was just last year, he joined the Pittsburgh Pirates, where he won his first World Cup, which is, like, Major. like the Super Bowl. Like, it's huge. Y'all know, baseball fans. <laughs> but, yeah, child. So, congrats to Vanessa Hurt, her man. You guys have a 
great life together. I wish we could have been in that wedding because I know it was awesome. Like, right, just to ugh. see that she still keeps in contact with yeah. her high school musical buddies, you know, because it's, it's personal when you're getting married. You really invite the people who you really love. So just to know that they still have that relationship yeah. was really awesome to see. Yeah, I mean, Ryan was there, you know, and then the girl who played uh, Corbin Blue's little boo thing the in the movie. The only black girl. Let's keep it a buck, y'all. Yeah. The only black girl. Y'all know. Who but, also admitted recently one of her interviews said there was no hairstylist on set to do her hair that's why her hair and wigs look busted in the high school musical movie yes sorry to drop that <laughs> sorry to drop that bomb on you but it's the truth everybody else had the had they shit done right and they always threw up that damn deacon wig on her <laughs> on all three of the movies even though they had more money for the budget right take off the and it was because they couldn't find someone black to do her hair um, with all that they couldn't find with all that money that that movie made they right. they couldn't get her hairstyles, but we're gonna say that they didn't deem it as a, a necessity. Yeah. Anyways, um, yeah. While we're on the high school, and then put her on the high school musical tour. She ain't going to the tour either. Tour. Yeah, we have a chip on our shoulders right mm-hmm. here. Anyways, justice for her. <laughs> yeah. um, speaking of high school musical guys, we just thought we'd mention that Zac Efron recently got yeah. honored with a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. I don't know how to feel about it. Um, now. Think, I'm trying to think back on his career. You know, he's done some stuff. I think we're thinking of like movie wise, but we we don't know what he's been doing behind the scenes. He's, was he an Iron Man? I don't know. No, yeah, I know he was in Seventeen again, and then he did some 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 other serious role. I forgot what that was. Right. Oh yeah, he played Ted Bunny, the serial killer on Netflix. Um, that was big. Um, you so yeah, you know he's he's always been in his acting bag. I remember he played an autistic kid in a Lifetime movie. I think that was before he broke out with High School Musical. But um, mm-hmm. yeah. So he's he's been in the game for a second. You know, he's got his acting bag, and you know, I mean, congrats to him. Right. I don't really think hey. he deserves a whole star, but hey. Well, from what I heard, you really the celebrities be buying their stars. I heard you can get it if you buy it because everybody's wondering why Beyonce doesn't have one. So I don't know, but shouts out to Jack Zac Efron. You know, doing your thing in the acting world. It's not an easy world to be in. So Yeah. Shout you know, and when you him. get older it gets harder to, to, to keep yourself relevant. So shout out to him. Congrats. Seen a recent picture of him. Still look keeping himself <laughs> up. So that's great. <laughs> I'm just saying. So again, shout out to Vanessa, Zach, everybody. You right. know. That wraps up Sister Celebrity Scoop. Now we're gonna get into our next segment of Yes, yeah, time to get hot, people, with Housewife Hot Minute. This is where Danielle gives me 60 seconds and on only 60 seconds on the clock to cover the latest episode of Real Housewives of Potomac, y'all. And I ain't even gonna lie to you. This is gonna be tough because I have a lot of notes and this episode was pretty good because a lot of things were discussed. So I don't know if I'm gonna make the 60 seconds. If I don't, then hey, just don't hold it against me. All right, ready? Yes, here we go. All right, guys, we're still in Austin, Texas. At the first, at first, the ladies seemed to be getting along over dinner pretty well, talking about their sex lives. I'm sure that was bonds everybody. And then, first off, I'm over Ashley Darby's TikTok dancing. Like, girl, I- I'm over it. That was 2020, 2019 pandemic. Please get a new hobby. Ashley's painting and then Robin starts yelling and gets mad about the ladies holding her accountable for one's cheating scandal. She gonna get all hot and bothered. Girl, just face the fire. Own the music. Guys, I'm running out of time. We are at 33 seconds. Um, Robin chose not to read the DM from her husband's side chick, Wands, which, Delulu, hello. And she says that Wands, Juan cleans out his phone like crazy, which makes all the ladies think she's actually delusional for real. Next, um, Karen's confessional about Robin is hilarious. If we didn't have Karen on the show, it would be a boring show. That's why she's the grand dame. Um, Wendy cries about guys y'all gonna give me 30 more seconds because Wendy started crying about her mother being in all the shrine rumors that NECA has been um slandering her mom's name and tarnishing her mom's oh oh, okay guys just two more things okay Candace mentions that she doesn't okay Candace mentions that she doesn't want to discuss the Michael Darby lawsuit and it makes Robin gets in her feelings about the lawsuit that her husband is facing Robin yet again defends Robin's about being fired from his coaching job girl at this point please get the divorce papers ready and lastly um, in the end Robin breaks down about just everybody trying to make her look like a villain and we have the next episode to look forward to that alright so guys that was a minute and 30 <laughs> seconds 
the timer has just gone off. I got everything I need to get done. I just want to put a disclaimer out there. I'm not trying to, you know, wish harm or downfalls of marriages, but Robin, not me, but all of America and the world sees that you really are delusional. But hey, not my marriage, so hang on, you know what I'm saying? I'm just giving y'all the review of the episode. Prayers to the Robin family. Yes. <laughs> no, for real. Okay, guys, that was Sophie's Housewife Hot Minute. What's up next? Up next is where we like to shine a light on a certain celebrity, influencer, or you know, just anybody that we like. Yes. Um, who is out here making moves, boss moves, money moves, music moves, hell, moves. moves. Okay. And, you know, with all of the negativity that's on social media, we thought, why not shout out one person who is doing something positive? Because that is what we need in the world. So, now it's time for... Who's Making Moves? Yeah. Yay. So, sis, who is making moves this time? Guys, this week, we have decided to shine light on none other than social media. Huge personality with over six million Instagram followers millions of tiktok followers yes. ricky thompson yes ricky t guys yes. ricky has been in the social media space for years. i'm talking about vine days when he was talking about how much he loved fried chicken yes and now he has gone from vine to just was it magazine covers yes. a hot new podcast he's yes. done worked with so many brands he's just out here living it's best life and I'm here for it I love it I've been a fan since Instagram started like when I had my first had my Instagram account I was following a few people he was one of the few and he always had these funny motivational videos and that's when I instantly became a fan and from that point I watched him grow and now he's just out here huge and I, I love it such an inspiration to content creators people being themselves yeah uh he has graced the cover of galore magazine variety magazine um like Dale said his podcast show on spotify with his best friend denzel who is also making big moves yes, so both of them is crazy and they're young i don't ever hear anything crazy about them oh i forgot i knew why i like ricky t he's an <laughs> aquarius i'm an aquarius hello shout out to the aquarius gang gang cancer over here but that's okay crying our stuff. season's coming up <laughs> <laughs> but yeah so shout out to ricky i mean we're so proud of you who knows if you ever would like to come on our podcast and we come on yours that'll be well, awesome that will be <laughs> the dynamic duo in history uh, sister sound off girls with ricky t and denzel the battle of the sexes uh, right like <laughs> but yeah we love you congrats again and we are see you out here making moves and we can't wait to see what more moves you make yes all right guys we are going to mosey into our next segment of nailed Nailed it it or failed failed it it. okay and this episode we are covering the color purple premiere red carpet guys i'm so excited about the movie and might i say the people are giving looks on this carpet so let's get into it okay guys so first up we have hallie bailey I'm Little Miss Mermaid. For me, I'm going to say... I think her hair and makeup looks great. I'm not a big fan of the dress. I don't like all the tulle and Christmassy feel that it's going. But I'm going to say nailed it because she is a star in this movie and the hair and makeup is eating. So, nailed it. I'm going to say failed it. <laughs> and... <laughs> and I love how it... Like, and I agree with my sister. The hair, the face, the skin awesome the dress and i like that she went with a non-purple color i think i kind of like that you know Mm -hmm. i think people are expecting purple so i like that she went with red but the how do i put this y'all know that emoji (gasps) with the lady with the red dress sure do (laughs) yeah it's it's giving um she's about to go to a um soiree but in i mean Mm -hmm. Like I said, beautiful. But for this event, the dress just doesn't fit. It, it for me, it just it's not matching the vibe, and there's too many ruffles. I'm Trying not here for that. Bump. I mean, allegedly. allegedly. <laughs> but yeah, she. But everything else looks fabulous. So sorry, girl. No. Okay, next we have Taraji P Henson. You know what? What do you think? I'm gonna say nailed because i like the detailing and the couture of the dress 
but I'm gonna say fell it on the hair in this pose it's a little bit too forced <laughs> but I like the and then of course the body I mean she looks fabulous in it like I said the hair um yeah I'm not feeling that hairstyle but everything else looks fabulous and I love the the color and everything so it's a nailed it for me okay for me I'm gonna say nailed it as well um I like the hair up because if she would have did hair down it would have been too much with that big piece over the shoulder but I think the style of the updo it's it's like you know uh 2000s when you go get your hair done in those magazines yeah I'm not here for it but it is a nailed it for me so next up we have my girl H-E-R because you guys know she is also a movie she's in the movie as well um so with this look, I'm going to give it a nailed it. I like how good she got the shoes matching. First off, it's hard to pull off this color when it comes to shoes. Um, she looks great. And of course, she, that, those signature curls, honey. Her hair is always laid. I think that's what I love the most about it. Beautiful smile. And yeah. Now, I'm not sure if I like that dark part. But I, I know it's ombre, so it's supposed to look like that. But the cut of the dress and the style of the dress is spot on. It looks great on her, so I'll give her noted. Okay, for her, I'm gonna, huh? Her, her, <laughs> okay. Guys, I'm gonna say failed it. Love the hair and makeup, but, and I love the slit of the dress, but I think the dress overall is a little, it ages her just a bit. I think it's a little mother of the bride, just a little bit. But I also see where she added the youth back in there with showing some of the skin and that high slit. But I failed it, but love the hair and makeup. Okay, yeah. her. Okay, guys. Next up, we have Sierra. Hi, I'm going to go with a... Um, I'm kind of on the fence. She's got a nailed it, but the nail didn't go all the way in. <laughs> We're going to call it hangnails on this show. <laughs> Um, because first off, I like what she did with the baby bump and I like the, I like the white on her, but again, for this event, I'm just not sure if it's all the way hidden. It might be a little too much for this event, I think. And then the hair, I don't like the old school 2006 flip up at the end. No, but you know, so yeah, I'm gonna give her a hangnail. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to say failed it. I mean, everything. Sorry, girl. Congrats <laughs> on the baby. The hair, hate it. The makeup looks harsh. The heavy shoulder padding, I just hate it. The drapes, the pants, and the showing the bump is really beautiful, but it kind of looks like somebody just threw some glitter and it stuck versus the whole mm. belly maybe should have been glittered, not just a little patch. So, girl, you got to fail for me. Yeah. Love you, <laughs> um, next up we have of course the star of the movie this Fant is her moment to shine Fantasia Fantasia guys um, you want me to go or you go you can pop, a, pop this off y'all I'm gonna say it's a nailed it I love that she did polka dots but not just a polka dot skirt if you're gonna do polka dots you gotta do it right it's tailored to her body the whole thing is polka dotted it's standing out from the carpet. I'm here for it, but I do think she should have did a red lip. But overall, it's a nailed it for me. So for me, it's a fail it. Everything. <laughs> um, love Fantasia. But I'm not here for the polka dot sensation. The body <laughs> looks great. And I do like that she did a belt with it. It really, you know, sucks in that way. It's not that it needs sucking in. But, you know, it gives that little bit of a tailor effect. Right. But like I said, the print is throwing off the purple carpet and then the makeup it is she gave a nice you know subtle look which is fine especially if you're going to go with a bold pattern like this you got to keep it simple with the makeup i do agree with sophie maybe a nice red or, or um low pink uh hint would have been great for the lips and then with the hair love you fantasia but i'm over the short it's been like really? Yeah, it's been like 80 years. Can we try maybe a little bit of length? Maybe do like a bob? Maybe? Okay. Yeah, let, let's go just a few inches. You know, it's been... When was... American Idol? Yeah. So we've we've seen shorts ever since then. I'm like 30 now, and I'm, I'm still saying that. I, I just would like a little length. Just all. 
Uh, but yeah, so it's a failed it for me, but I am very excited to see you in the movie. Yes. <laughs> Just wanted to point out, whoever has been on Fantasia's um, glam team, she has been stepping it up in a major way as far as fashion. Ever since this movie, boy, them looks in London, y'all go to her Instagram and check it out. Uh, Amazing. Really, she looks so good. Yes. Okay. And now getting to our next person who shares my fabulous name, <laughs> Danielle Brooks from, yes. you know, Orange. Shout out to Danielle Brooks. So slept on. Yeah. Amazing talent. Amazing talent. She has a very fine husband, married woman. Uh, she was one of my favorite characters on Orange is the New Black. Played Mahalia Jackson. Okay. And of course, now she is in the color purple. We're so proud of her. But her look for this I'm gonna go with a nailed it. I actually like the purple. I like the little bit of a um, bustier slash corset vibe going on at the top with the low silk purple uh, skirt. It looks great on her. Kind of wish, and I, I always feel like this. If you're gonna do a slit, I got a slit on right now. But you see how my leg's shining? <laughs> how it's glistening that one leg. But whichever leg stick out, it's like church you gotta make sure that leg is golden and glistening okay yeah it does look a little dry yeah the, the, the everybody i mean the the skin looks beautiful but you know i'm just saying just maybe a little spray of you know something just to kind of make that leg pop but the shoes you know, look great with it <laughs> right oh it's some shea butter okay. but um yeah i like that you did the silver shoe with it silver with the purple looks great i like the little side drape that she did i'm not sure about the hairstyle, I'm just keeping honest. That's what I was gonna say. But I like that she matched her little um, hair accessory with the skirt. That was a nice touch. So yeah, I'm gonna give her a nail on this. Okay, I'm gonna give her, like Dale said, a hang nail. I don't like the hair, so it's making me not like the hat thingy. But overall, the look is okay. I wanted her to do a different lip though, because I don't think she has anything on the lip. The ashy knee. You know what? Yeah. It's a hang nail. So it, it ain't all the way, but it's not all the way. So it's in between A. Yeah. A <laughs> pop of gloss and a Something. little a pop of gloss on the lip and a little bit of gloss on the leg. Even maybe a tiny tennis necklace. Something yeah, else. Yes. Like a dainty maybe yeah, yeah. something. But uh shout out to Danielle Brooks. Keep continuing to do your thing yes. in this acting world. Next up we have Alicia Keys. Is it me or is Alicia Keys stardom fading away? And I don't like it. Because Alicia Keys is huge. But yeah, I feel and like you know, she's not mentioned lately. Yeah, and I someone on shout out to the shade room made a post and where she was playing the piano or something. And I made a comment saying that when it comes to R and B music, nobody ever mentions Alicia Keys. And then I mean I've had over like a thousand likes, comments, everything talking about it because it's like this girl had, was in her R and B bag at yeah, one point. I don't like how happened. people are just skipping over <laughs> like diary album let's talk about right. it like come on now anyways but back to her look for me i'm gonna go fail it's too whimsical is the word that comes to mind it's too whimsical and water that's what i think of maybe too flowy but also it's not terrible but it's just a fail for me and i don't like the hair i either. think it might have been because it's over texturized she's got like this long it's a lot of draping going on and it's um it's almost drowning her you can't see yeah you can't see the shoes we don't know what she's walking on um i now i do like the color i like the print and the color of it it works well with her tone and it works well with the event and the carpet you know and the vibes i like the braids you know i like the side um i was talking about the jewelry but can't really see that either so yeah i'm gonna go with the felt it for me got it all right guys we can't do nailed it or fill it with the color purple premiere without, without. mentioning of course what are my items i'm not kidding neither we're both an aquarius and she has really inspired me in many ways we're talking about oprah winfrey guys um and Tom Perry, he over here too, but he look good. Um, Oprah, she's she's kind of nailed it for me. Oprah has lost a lot of weight. Um, some has said maybe she's on Ozempic. Even if she is or not, it's somebody please give me the Ozempic. I need it. Jesus. Anyways, <laughs> she looks absolutely great. Um, 
Oprah's hair is always a, a nailed it. I mean, she just has on a simple gown. She didn't do anything wrong. The weight loss is really looking amazing. So she's got a nail for me. So for me, I'm gonna go with nailed it. As she looks, she does look great. I like the purple and I like the off tone purple. It's not like a standard purple. Mm -hmm. It's so I kind of like that. Wish I could have seen what her shoes look like, but that's okay. <laughs> And um, actually, take that back. My sister just got the full view. <laughs> <laughs> I like the shoes. Yeah, they look great. Um, her hair looks great. Oprah ain't never had a bad hair day. <laughs> yeah, all that hair is gonna stay, stay slayed. The earrings, the draping of the she's got, you know, like the long earrings. They also great with it. And of course, the glasses. She's always wearing those glasses. I think it would have been nice if she did contacts for this premiere. But hey, girl, you gotta see, you gotta see. You Oprah, so hey, <laughs> this is your event. But yeah, overall, she was great. So I will give her a nailed it. Right. Guys, that wraps up nailed it or failed it. Let yes. us know what you think of these outfits, of course, in the comments or go to our Instagram and tell us what you're thinking. Uh, while I'm shouting that out, be sure to hit that subscribe button if you're watching on YouTube. And, of course, listen to us on all streaming platforms. Yeah, because if you don't got time to watch, don't worry. Just listen to us. Yeah. While you're doing them dishes, cooking for them kids, walking your dog, put us on in the background music, okay? Yes. <laughs> So, of course, you guys, we hate to go, but we are wrapping up our ep third, which means you need to make sure you watch the first two, right. but wrapping up our third episode, I would like to leave you all with a, what I like to call, Danny's Dose. Just a dose of positivity where I give you a nice quote to start off the rest of your week. And for this episode, it is simple. But it's something that you need to take with you. It's something that everybody can take with them. So it goes like this. God puts us through the struggle so that we can learn to appreciate success. Okay? Mm. So while you're sitting at home, work, on your job, complaining about how you're tired of struggling, this and that. Oh, I wish I could get this part of my life over with. Just know it's all a part of God's plan. It's a part of the process. No one knows you better in this world like God. He knows what he's doing. He knows what's best for you. So if he's taking you through some hardships, he just wants you to get through them to see how you appreciate them. Because once you get to that success, you really are going to be grateful for it. But you got to appreciate the struggle first because that's what makes you you. That's what builds you. So take that with you guys. God. Hallelujah. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Thank you again for watching our fabulous show. Sister Sound Off, episode three. Once again, make sure you subscribe, comment down below, go to our Instagram, check out our outfits of the day. We do them every episode. Yes. I am Sophie Joe. And I am Danny the Doll. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye. Between us, just like we fences. You got issues that are tension for now, cause we're falling apart.